All right, guys, you just saw us introduce Adam's new stupid S10. So we said that we'd go through a video on what it took to actually get the ignition put into this thing because the previous owner had lost a key. Okay. Previous owner being this poor bastard out here that's going to watch <laughs> me film this video. Um, but Adam wanted to show you step by step what it's going to take to put a new ignition in this because his geniusness thinks he can do it in five minutes. So he says... Ooh, give me eight. Eight. He says we don't even need to time lapse it because he's going to be able to get this done in a ten minute video. Adam, you're at... 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I just now started. All I did was take the phone off. All right, well, it's not my fault you weren't working while I was talking. Here's those new wire strippers I was telling you about. Ignition. <laughs> You're 45 seconds in already. So imagine we live in Memphis and we're stealing cars. This is what we'd have to do. So, okay, I took the horn off. You can just unplug it. See the snap ring in there? Yep. All right, next is a snap ring. So if you do this... You can try to get a. You know they make tools for that, right? Yeah, I know, and that's uh, that's okay. I want to show you if you were trying to steal a car. Oh no, we're not. I don't think we're allowed to say that, but yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus! I'll probably just do it with my. You know we're car. almost to our review with YouTube. The last, the, hey, the last video we put up is going to be Adam trying to tell people how to steal a car. <laughs> Take your snap ring out. That's off. Only the ratchets. Now the nice thing is this. Steering wheel locks, so it makes it where you can take that off. You're at a minute 30. Come on, jeez. No pressure. Right. Um. Ooh, you should have had your tools in order. Yeah, I know. Adam's horrible at figuring out what size something is. Yeah, I just guess it's quicker than going. I wonder what size it is. And we might not have anything that big. Oh, don't say that. That would be horrible, huh? I think that's true. It's bigger than a 19. That's why you gotta go American. Our nuts are bigger. Did it fit? Yep. All right. We just needed some suspense. You had me nervous, so good job. Now, I saw this one trick and I wanna try it real quick. But I heard if you take the nut off and you put it back on just a little ways, you can go. I'm going to say no. Didn't work. <laughs> it was fun to watch though. So we got a tool for that. Steering wheel puller. Oh, you didn't even take it out of the package first? No, that's going to kill my time. Dude, you're at 2 minutes and 50 seconds. You know, if I would have had you prepared for this, you'd probably be done by now. Probably. Should have cheated and got all the tools out ahead of time. I think that's being prepared, not cheating. You ever used one of these? Me? Yeah. No? I haven't either. I don't even know what the hell it is. That looks important. We'll save that. We got a flag. Somebody's mail. Was there. Probably a few I need right now. Probably a check. <laughs> Did you leave a check in these? That looks like it might be important. <laughs> oh, it was opened at one point. <laughs> All right. There's a couple of bolts here. You take this bad boy. This goes here. Out. Is it an envelope inside an envelope? Yep. <laughs> All right, I'm disappointed. I was hoping it was going to be like a winning lottery ticket or something. Oh, that one nice. nice trick, whoever did so that. So these bolts thread into these holes. See, bolt, yep. hole. Okay. Put it through here first. You're at four minutes and 20 seconds. Oh, jeez. This isn't even the hard part. I did watch one guy do this, and he didn't put these in very far, and guess what? They snapped off inside of there, and he was screwed. Let's not do that. No. Nope. We're a long ways from home. That one goes in there. Just like that. Now, the idea behind this little device here is that whenever we screw this in, it pushes on the nut inside of there. Pulls the steering wheel off? Pulls the steering wheel off. 
I like I like that in theory. Word on the street is that's what <clears> happens. <throat> You better hurry up. This thing's get, getting cold. It's going to freeze back to the ground. Okay. Nine sixteenths. Five twenty. Right tight. Yeah, yeah, that's too big of a whatever you're using. It ain't doing nothing. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, sure enough. I wonder why that is. Uh, because you grabbed the wrong size, I would assume. I don't think it'd be standard, but I thought it would be too. That one's working. Yep. Yeah. Assuming you want to probably make those even. Why? This is actually a very inexpensive steering wheel puller I got from an auto parts store. I think it was $15. And I'm going to go ahead and guess that. Yeah. That's the one that was probably that bigger size you needed. Yep. Bigger. Five eighths. So now you screw this in. Tools. I'm gonna need a time extension. Well, you're at seven minutes, so I'm oh. gonna be turning this off here pretty soon. You're gonna have to do a second video. <laughs> Most of America's already stopped watching. I didn't use that thing that we were supposed to be using. What the hell is that? That's that piece that I said. Oh, hey. Now, of course, getting this in there is gonna be a challenge. Now that I got. Did you bring a screwdriver in case we have to break the ignition in this thing? Yep. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, watch your language. We dropped it down in there. All right. All right. So make sure you don't forget that piece. Maybe we'll can we edit that part of the video out. No, uh, we don't edit. <laughs> I mean, we do to put pieces together, but we definitely don't edit out your screw ups. That's true. Right. Only my screw ups. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do the editing. <laughs> Jesus. All right, guys, we're going to let Adam fix this. This is weird, though. All right, he managed to get the steering wheel off. All right, so the next thing is this pressure plate. So you use this fancy tool, and when you do this, it pushes that plate in. And you hear that? That's good news. So this is actually your locking plate. That's what locks. But there's a snap ring here. It probably will require a flathead screwdriver. I just want to get it there where we can see it. There's my old trusty busty here. Trusty busty? Wouldn't yeah. that be like a large rusted woman? It's It's been uh, broke a few times. I was just going to fuck that bad boy out. Maybe. That's like so. I'll head there for a second. It's either if you use two of them, really. But. Or the tool that you're supposed to use. Yeah. There was a cutter here. Just cut that stupid thing. It's all right. I got a couple of little screwdrivers here. So go under there and under there. Looks like he's playing operation. <laughs> Is there water on his knee? Scalpel. All right, cut that side. Jesus. You've officially made this a 10 minute video already. Yeah, but, uh, well, there's a lot of things I didn't do probably the smart way, but not oh, geez, I had it. Did you see that? Yeah. They move 
for there for a second. It's rough on the bottom. It's gonna get the rest of it to go with it. Oh, would you lose it? I think I bent it, which is fine too. We're not gonna need it. We don't need the steering wheel to lock for a dirt car. If you're doing this on a driver, I recommend not doing this. Yeah, one in down, stretch it out. There we go. That's out. Use the right tool when you're yes. doing it for your driver. We are not using it as a driver. And voila. That's going to let that come back. Well, nothing else with that would be able to turn the steering wheel out, right? Yeah. But we're going to keep going and put the pressure in. All right. So now. That is free to. screws out first. This should just pop. Right off there, huh? It's just stuck on the... You make it sound really easy. It's supposed to just pop right out of there. That's oh, what I happens see. when you watch YouTube videos to learn how to yeah, do stuff. I see a little We can't put it in gear yet. So. Nope. If you can make it so we can do that, it'd be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna make it where it'll do all that fun stuff. It's getting dark out. Right after this short break. You don't get a break. <laughs> I see a little screw area in here. But... Not the right size. One smaller. That's gonna hit the dam. I don't think this is gonna touch in there. There it goes. The nice thing is, is most of the stuff we're taking out of here, like this white thing here, that's your electronics for your blinkers. So here in a minute, this thing should go real limp because we're going to pull a little piece out of the bottom there. We don't really need any of that to go back in. I need to get a new ignition in it. Did you bring the ignition? I did. It's right okay. there. If you want to show people at home what an ignition looks like. You're just delaying. Yeah. But sure, I'll show you the new one. Ta-da! With a key and everything. Back before stuff had to be difficult. I suppose it helped if I put it in front of the camera, huh? There she is. Master Pro. Cheapo. Yep. I think those are $13 or something. Well, I got the trailer all crooked. That's alright. We're just going to hook the winch of it. It's probably going to pull your truck backwards. Probably. This is, we're down in a bit of a hole here. So this rings the trouble now. Oh. That more. Oh. Almost got her off here. The problem is, there's nothing sliding over top of this piece here like it was supposed to. Oh, there was another screw. That's the problem. There's a couple of them. Anyway, these little deals here, that's what locks your steering. Here's the pin that comes out. Gets stuck on there, and that's what makes your steering wheel locked. Whenever that's on there, we don't need that. We don't need this. This is all the parts for your blinkers. However, we don't need that either. So you take these out. Oh, went limp. Just there like you go. Said. You can always tell when it's going to go limp, especially when it's cold outside. <laughs> And I think there should just be three Phillips that hold this in. Once you do that, we should be able to. I don't think I've got them all the way out yet. Nope. Scratch this as an idea on a way to steal a car. <laughs> this will take forever. 
Well, who wouldn't? Just use a screwdriver like everybody else. Oh, wouldn't it took me as long if I, uh... Oh yeah, don't forget this one. Hazard button. Get that. This will slide out now. Let's see if my math is correct. We should be up to about 15 minutes. 15 already? So we'll slide this back in here. Whenever we're done, we'll pull it over here out of the way now. Here's your little doodads here. We don't need. All right. Right in here. That's our guy right there. Take that one screw out. Bad mamma jamma. See that? Watch this. Wow. All right. New one. There. <laughs> one benefit of being the guy that holds the camera, I get to be real useless real often. And officially, once I put this in here. That looks crooked. It is crooked, huh? That's straight up and down, and there's a notch here. It really only goes. One way and not the way you're doing it. Yeah, I might have it upside down. That looks more like it. Yeah? Yeah, because it has that little hole that the other one had in when you pulled it out. Oh, yeah. That's where the screw goes in, probably in bumps. Oh, it's these little locking clips on there to keep it from popping back out. Where does that not fit? Oh, genius. There's tracks and stuff for that to go in here. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. That's like that. That's like that. Well, that's all the same. So that's... Sorry, I gotta put my head in there. You're fine. You got a key? We got a key. Aha! We can put it in gear. There she goes. So now we'll just toss this back in there. Again, not important to us. It's just blinker junk, but I don't want to cut those wires out here right now. Okay. Until we get this thing running, we don't need to be cutting anything. Together because don't need to. What we need is this. Go on like that, and then do that, and then we got her. Is it safe to say you're done? No. All right. Hands getting cold. Now we're done. All right, guys, there it is. The uh, 10 minute version that took 21 <laughs> minutes plus. That's still actually better than I'm putting a new ignition in this old style with just a, a plain old key. It's not a chips key or any of that kind of stuff. So, appreciate you following along as always. Get ghost.